Hey, new investors and seasoned investors. Let's go to Robinhood.com. When you get your opening page, you're going to see Robinhood, their little flagship symbol. Products, learn, support who we are. Log in, sign up. Opening page, you also get investing for everyone. Commission free investing. Let me repeat that again. Commission free investing plus the tools you need to put your money in motion. Plus the tools you need to put your money in motion. Sign up and get your first free stock. Also, whenever you sign up and you use your referral link, which I'm going to show you that in here, <clears throat> for every referral, you get free stock. That person gets the same share, you get a share. Y'all get different shares, but you all get a free share of stock. I'm already signed up to Robin Hood, so I'm going to just log in. All right. It's going to send a code to my phone because I'm on a computer. I'm not on my phone. So I'm going to punch my code in to get access to my account. That's a security measure they have to make sure it's you that's logging in. I don't do too much logging in on this MacBook. I usually do it from my phone. But for tutorial purposes, pay attention. Okay. My account right now is sitting at about $5,771.50, which is cool. And as you can see, I'm down a little bit in my portfolio. But we're going to go over here to rewards. Let's click on rewards. Right here in this area, it says invite friends, pick your free piece of stock. Earn up to $200 in stock for every referral. So basically what it is saying is over here, your referral link, once you sign up, you'll get one. See, this is mine. I'll copy that link. I can share it on Twitter or I can share it on Facebook or any other social platform. All right, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Follow, follow along. Earn fractional shares. We slice whole shares into smaller pieces of stock. Limitations apply. So the limitations apply meaning they only give out so many, but I ain't had a problem yet. And I don't refer over 200 people. Get up to 200 bucks. I'm gonna repeat that again. Get up to 200 bucks. One in 100 gets a value of at least 20 bucks. So these stocks, they range from like $5 to 10 or maybe 15. Okay, it says you can get up to 500 in a year from referring friends. So basically, it's saying you can only get up to $500 for his referrals in a 12 month period. Everyone gets stock. You are guaranteed stock when your friend successfully signs up and links their bank account. So basically, even if they don't put money in, as long as they sign up, link their bank account using your referral code, you'll get a free share of stock and they'll get a free share of stock to get you started. Now, if you don't want to keep that free share of stock, once it settles in your account, sell it. Put it back in your bank account. But me, I'm not a financial advisor, but I would advise you to stay into the stock and see how it works and learn. Learn the stock investing game. All right. Continue building your portfolio. Keep in mind, 98% of rewards, we have a value, see this, of 5 to $10. And I said 15 but it's 5 to $10. Every, every piece helps build your financial future. So you can actually earn money in stocks by just doing referrals. All right. <clears throat> the next you have over here is your portfolio. I'm going to let you all take a look at mine. This is my portfolio. I have Apple stock, Tesla. QYLD, which is a ETF, AGNC, I think it's also an ETF, Coca-Cola, ARBK, Health, I'm going to move my face over a little bit, VRV, and Gain. I don't advise nobody to invest into what I'm investing to. This is for entertainment purposes only, but hey, choose your own poison. You can access up to 1,000 of instant deposits. So once you actually put money in from transferring it from your bank account uh i don't know exactly the total amount i think it'll be like between two and five hundred dollars they are all they're all they'll, they'll give you at least a thousand dollars of instant deposit meaning like if you're getting ready to transfer over a thousand or anything under a thousand while it's in process of being transferred over you can go ahead and start buying stock this is the section i like let me hit the show more tab 
right here see that's trending that's let that lets you know what's what's hot in the market right now you got popular recurring investments which if you don't already start um, uh, investing in two stocks and it show you a multitude of people that's constantly buying some every week or choosing to invest a dollar every week or a couple of dollars in a certain stock this is a, this is an index of ETFs ETFs are exchange traded funds so if you're not good at picking stocks say if you want some Apple stock say if you want some Tesla stock and you don't want to buy a full share of stock you can get an ETF that actually holds um, a fractional share of stock in it and they have a, a wide variety of stocks on here let's let this come up and as you can see let me move that back over over here let's let's go with this first one right here let's say SPDR right now that price is $122.79 all right let's see exactly what's in the symbol is SDY it's the stock SPDR that's the S&P dividend ETF let's click on that right now that's what $122.79 currently as we speak okay down here it'll tell you about what you're investing to SDY tracks a yield weighted index of dividend paying companies I'm gonna repeat that again dividend paying companies meaning these companies are gonna pay you for being a shareholder they pay you a dividend uh, every month or every three months I'm not for sure we'll carry on uh, 1500 composite index that have increased dividends for at least 20 consecutive years meaning it's 1500 companies inside of this one ETF that you'll be investing into when you go down it'll tell you what it what it what's in the fund you got industries financial services customer defense utilities consumer clinical health care real estate basic materials energy sector communication service technology so me personally this is a great ETF to invest into for the long term. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm only sharing this information with you for entertainment purposes. All right, we're going to go back. Let's go back to. Let's take it back a page. All right. Also, Robinhood has cryptos. Now, they don't have all the cryptocurrency coins, they just have a few, which I own a few on this platform as well. Um. Let's see here. You got Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin. You got Dogecoin, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, and Ethereum. Also, right now, on Robinhood, they do not have a wallet to hold your crypto. So if you actually want to sell any crypto after you've made gains off of it, it's going to go back into cash. It's going to go back into your buying power, which is on the first initial page. It's going to go back into your buying power. They don't, they don't hold your crypto. Once you sell it, it's not. It's, it's going to go back into cash. And these are all the families of the crypto. You got the Ethereum family. Once you click on that, it'll tell you what's in the Ethereum family, which is Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. See, they don't have that much. Let's go back. Still a great platform because it's easy to learn on. They got the Bitcoin family. When you go into the Bitcoin family, they only have three. Bitcoin, which is one of the top movers today, is down. From, it's at 49,000, which... <laughs> that dropped tremendously in the last couple of days. Uh, you got Bitcoin Cash and you got Bitcoin SV. All right, we're going to go back. Altcoins. These are all the altcoins that they have. Litecoin and Dogecoin. So pretty much, <clears throat> Robinhood don't have a lot of cryptocurrencies right now. I know there's a petition out people trying to get uh, Shiba Inu on there, which would be great for this platform. But I think uh, Robinhood is actually... Uh, trying to get a wallet first uh, before they handle that load of people coming in to invest into Shiba which if you read any of the news that carried upon Robin Hood with crypto they made a lot of money so I know they're probably trying to work on getting that that crypto on their platform uh, we're going to take it back Let's go back. We're going to take it back. All right. Also, they have IPO access. This is a great one here. But IPO access, I'm just hit the follow button on this on my computer. 
with IPOs, IPO is a initial public offering, meaning you'll get a chance to invest in a new company startup actually right when it comes out. So there's a list you can get on. See, right now they have a company called NU. And if you want to know anything about these companies, you want to just look it up on this platform. You can go to Google and look it up. Uh, let's do a quick run over to Google. I'm going to hit the plus button. Go up in my search bar. I'm going to type up Google. Just showing you guys how you can look up companies. And you can get the same information. Let's say that company was called NU. Uh, let's say IPO, Initial Public Offering. IPO, Stock Forecast, meaning they don't know exactly what it's going to be numbered at, but they'll tell you uh, what, the, what the price will be. See, this New Holdings IPO forecast, will Buffett be lucky this time? You know what I'm saying? Basically saying you can get in, you know, early before any before the public start getting into it. And that's a, that's a good way to invest, too. That's a strategy I use. I'll find some of these IPOs to invest into. You know what I mean? Put me a couple of thousand in there when it come out. Say if it come out at $9, it might come out at $9. And by the end of the day, it might be $13, $14. So on each share, you have made a, a decent gain. Let's go back. I'm going to come back out of this page. But I just wanted to go to Google to show you anything that you want to learn when it comes to a stock. You can go to Google and find out. And let's say while we're here on Google, I'm going to go back up in my search bar. I'm going to go with an easy one. Well, all of them is easy. But I'm going to go with Nike. Look here. How much? How much is Nike? Nike stock. Okay, we'll go down. Click on it. And see right here, Nike stock is $170. And their ticker symbol, which all stocks have a an abbreviation for their name. Like you want to look up Nike, the ticker symbol is NKE. And it's on the New York Stock Exchange. That's what NYSE means. New York Stock Exchange. Over here, when you're on Google, you can go get an overview. You can get news on the company. You can compare it to other companies. And you can see the company's financials, which is great. Also, you can do that in Robinhood and all the rest of the platforms. But sometimes I tend to go, go to Google because it seems like on some platforms it might move a couple of seconds slow it's depending on your internet connection let's cut out of that okay right now we got nke let's go back to robin hood and look up nke and i'm going to show you that you all can invest with fractional shares you don't have to spend a whole amount of a stock you can get a stake in the game by just investing a fractional share we're going to type up nke and as you see nike came up let's go to nike Nike right now, same thing. See that? $107.24. And today is Sunday, so the stock market is not open, but you can actually do a pre-buy and it will execute Monday morning at 9 o'clock when the market opens. So right here, it gives you a brief description on the company. And you can hit the view more button. It'll tell you, you know, a lot more than just a little. Nike Inc. engaged into the design, development, marketing, and sale of athlete footwear, apparel, accessories, equipment, and services. Hey, who don't know that right about now? Okay, the CEO is John J. Donahoe. It's over 73,300 employees. The company was founded in 1964, and the headquarters is in Beaverton, Oregon. All right, this is the market cap, 269046 billion. Whew. Regardless, whew. bananas. Price earnings, 45.22. They got a dividend right now, 65 uh, percent and that actually comes out on every share of stock i think they do their dividends every three months so in these big fortune 500 companies you can invest in some of these fortune 500 companies and they pay a dividend every month or every three months uh on this app you can do a reinvestment meaning any dividends that you earn because you got stake in the game just have them reinvest and just let your money grow 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 right now today's high is 172 dollars today's low was 166 78 and the open price was 170.33 and this on the last training day which was friday the volume that was in it was 4.88 million ridiculous nike moves like lightning the 52 weeks 52 weeks high was 179 179 10 meaning in 12 month period in a 12 month period the highest this stock has been is 179 dollars the 52-week low, the lowest has been is $125. And I do think, and right now the current price is $173.33, this is a good stock to get into. I keep Nike in my portfolio. Who wouldn't? Once again, I am not a financial advisor. I am only giving you investments that I invest into. Do your own research when you, when you start investing. 
let's let's take it back go over a little bit more with the platform all right <clears throat> when you go to cash when you click on cash uh it'll show you well, i don't need to use my current location it'll show you what cash you got inside your portfolio to actually spend on different stocks cryptos etfs and right now as you can see i don't have any cash in mind all my money is invested out um also your bank whatever bank you bank with <clears throat> most banks 99.99 percent .99 of banks 99.1 percent of banks do not give an interest rate on your cash that's sitting in your savings or your checking account of 0.0.1 percent on this Robinhood app, if you have your money just sitting in an account not invested, you can earn between 6 and 8%. Way better than any brick and mortar, period. All right, let's go over here where you got messages. Anytime you invest, uh, it'll tell you when your money's being transferred. You see I had a transfer on December 2nd. I transferred 150 bucks. You see right here, um, Amplify trans, uh, trans, Transform Formal formational whatever that means um here you go another investment i got a dividend off one of my investments global x it basically this message center tells you everything that you do so if you think you missed something you have it. it's all gonna be in the message center let's go back let's try and get back to the front page and this is your account but i want to do a brief description on on the robin hood app because this is one of the easiest apps to invest into all right, altcoins, went through altcoins. Here go the most popular stocks. When you click on the most popular stocks, <clears throat> these are the ones that's trending right now. And as you can see, by popular demand, see which stocks are most commonly held by Robinhood customers. Apple, Tesla, Metaforms. This is Facebook. Facebook just changed their name to Meta. Let's click on that so you guys can get a glimpse of that. And also, I'm going to hit the follow button. And once you hit these follow buttons, it gives you notifications in your messages. Let's go to Meta. Meta right now is at $306.10. Let's go. Let's give you a little bit about Meta. Meta Platforms, formerly known as Facebook, operates as a global social technology company. The company engages in the development of social media applications as well as a virtual augmented reality products allowing users to connect through mobile devices, personal computers, and other platforms. I always stay invested into Facebook. They just changed the name to Meta. And actually, there will be a new ticker symbol came up, coming out. It's, to my understanding, it's supposed to came out December 1st and they pushed back to January of 22. I think that'll be a good IPO to buy into. So let's let's take and do this. Once again, you want to know some more information. Let's go over to the plus. Let's go back to our trusted brother Google. Google is your diploma, your social degree, and your master's degree. Remember that. The Google is your diploma, your social degree, your master's degree, and your bachelor's degree. And what I mean by that is information. You get information on Google. So if you don't know something, go to Google. Let's type up Facebook new name. And as you can see, brings up Mr. Mark Zuckerberg. Facebook is no longer Facebook. Didn't I just tell you that? It is getting a new name, Meta. Okay. The Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced the same at the company's Connect event held. The company is rebranding itself as Meta. Facebook gets a new name. You see what I'm talking about? So you can always go to Google. We're going to come out of that. From any platform if you want to know more information, which you'll get a brief description on these platforms. But if you want to know more information, go to that trusted big brother Google. All right, uh, let's see some else that I haven't covered on here. Okay, remember, when you sign up, you're going to have to, I'm already connected into my account. When you sign up to this platform, it's going to be the same requirements as if you're getting a bank account. 
you're gonna have to put your ad address in your I think Robin Hood takes a picture of your ID if not I know a lot of them take a picture of your ID front and back um, you also have to put your social in or your tax ID number whatever one you choose to use and uh, pretty much they'll go through the process of approving you which sometimes it can be 30 minutes or, or it can be two days either way it go get in so you can get some skin in the game let's go down to upcoming earnings when you click on upcoming earnings it's just what it says coming up next see companies expected to release earnings reports in the next seven days so basically like every three months some of them do every some of them do every 30 days they give you an earning report on their company so you can know how they're advancing or how they didn't do good or how they did do good you know what i'm saying so basically you can uh that's another strategy you can use when investing you can look at how a company is growing from a date last year <clears throat> uh, on the quarter uh, semi-annually or yearly you can see how these companies are doing to decide whether you want to invest into them or not I always do my research before I invest into a company because sometimes fake news come out and me personally I don't trust no humans I don't trust no humans so you know what I mean I can hear some but I do my own research like what I'm telling you I'm not giving you financial advice I'm just telling you how I move when I invest um, so these companies all these companies are coming out with and these are the symbols of the companies like I said they all abbreviated they're called tickers these are the prices of the current stock these are the days ups and downs this is the market cap showing you how many people in and out of it and these are the companies that's coming out with their their earnings so if you're investing in either one of these, you'll know exactly what's going on with the company. And remember, you can still go to Google, find out who the CEO is, find out how many employees they got, find out where is the company located. All this information is public information. So <clears throat> it just requires some reading. That's all it is. If you want to be a good investor, my my opinion is, and just I, I just got an opinion, read. Read about any company you're investing to. Just because a company is hot, everybody's talking about it, don't mean it's a good company to invest into. You know what I mean? I made that mistake. I invested to a couple of companies. I made some money, but these companies weren't as hot as a company that was really under the radar. You follow what I'm saying? All right, let's go over to, let's go back. I'm going to just click back. Let's see here. Also, it show you, this is show newer articles. All right, check this out. This is in Business Inside. It was 13 hours ago. The 13H mean 13 hours ago. This was posted. 10 COVID-19 cases were detected on the Norway cruise line ship as it is headed to port in New Orleans. So you got 10 people on there. This is reported that they got COVID. And as you can see right here, It gives you a little information on your daily movers. DocuSign, China Data, Weijo Group, and Ocean Pal. This platform is full of information, but it's kind of bananas right there hearing about 10 people tested positive for COVID. So what they did, test them when they got on there, they didn't test them before they get on there? That's some crazy mess. You should have known that before you got on there. Unless they tested them in the process of being on the ship. <clears throat> I don't know how that go. But they also give you news. And if you want to share all this, any of this, just go to these three buttons here. Or you can give a like or a don't like. Uh, you also can share this information. Just like you share everything else. Like I'm sharing with you now. Um, you got Yahoo. <clears throat> Yahoo is a, another platform you can watch stocks on. Market Watch, they give you data about different stocks. You can you can click on Market Watch, and as you see, it opens up a new page. You can go in over here in the search bar, type up whatever stock you're looking for. Let's just, just do that. See what it says, inner key symbol. Let's go with Nike since we spoke about Nike. Oh, let's go with Facebook. It's still at FB. Let's say FB. Hit the search. And as you can see, information comes up about Facebook. Showing you, look, the new name is Meta, it's Meta Platforms. But the new ticker symbol haven't came out yet. This is a ETF, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think their stock ticker symbol is MRVS. Let's make sure. Let's go back. Let's, hit, let's go back to Google. 
uh, let's say Facebook new let's say stock symbol also is ticker symbol so new stock ticker uh, let me go over here and undertake some malware let's see if select boats 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 all right uh, let's see what is Facebook's new ticker symbol and I said meta I know it was MBRS if I'm not mistaken I think it's a C M V R S. Yeah, there we go. See that? And how I know that because I'm studying it. Let's see Meta platform. So, see it brought it back to Meta. M V R S. But right now this is out. But the new ticker symbol hadn't came about yet. And look once again on Facebook. I mean, or uh, on Google. You can go on Google, and it'll tell you about the company. If you want to know anything about what you're investing to before you invest. It has an about section. Meta Platforms doing business as Meta and formerly known as Facebook is a multi multinational technology conglomerate based in Menlo Park, California. The company is the parent organization of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp app, among other subsidiaries. So when you invest in the Facebook, you're actually investing to Instagram and the WhatsApp. And right here it gives you the CEO, which is Mark Zuckerberg, CFO. David Wayner and the company was founded in 2004 in Cambridge, Massachusetts, headquartered in Menlo Park. Number of employees 68,177. Look at their revenue 85.96 billion. Ridiculous. So, me personally, my opinion, I want to stay in a company like that because I know this growth potential is can possibly supersede past $270.55. Well, with that being said, Robinhood is a great platform to invest on. If I hadn't covered a lot of things that you guys want to know about on this platform, uh, leave a message at the bottom of this video. Share the video. And remember, when you sign up, it's a process. It can take 30 minutes to be approved, or it can take 24 hours or 48 hours. Either way it go, happy investing, get money, peace in the Middle East, and don't put too much hair grease in your head. It'll get on your pillow.